uh, if the three day average is higher than the seven day average, buy. You want to buy. Right. Yeah, okay. uh, it, was, it was low high, right? Low high. Yeah, right. Low high. So if it's lower than the seven day average, buy. If it's lower than the seven day average, uh -huh. buy. It. Buying. Exactly. Because it's a buying, it's a buying opportunity. The price is low at three days, yeah. going up to seven days. Exactly. Day exactly. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, so th 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 these are um, um, data that's available to you right there on what to buy. Okay. Right. So, in me deciding what new coins to buy, if one, if, if I didn't get it from Karima, I, like buy whatever the hell Karima says. Okay, okay, okay. Right? Karima posts to buy on Twitter? No, no, no. Well, um, she just calls you guys and says, yeah, she knows it like that? Yeah, she, she well, has John her. Well, John said Karima told him what to buy like four hours before it came out in the news. Exactly, right? Like, if we're, if we're listening to Karima on Crypto Kitties, we probably would have owned a couple of Crypto Kitties that are selling for 10,000 freaking bucks. Crypto what? Crypto Kitties. kitties. Crypto Kitties. So, Crypto Kitties are exactly what we're proposing for um, cannabis. Uh, for, yeah, for, for, for the uh, digital art. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, I saw her please. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So okay. it's cats that yes. are uniquely um, designed. Yeah, uh, 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 bread. Yes. Right. Yes. That are they're unique pieces, so they have value. On the Ethereum blockchain. On the Ethereum block blockchain. Okay. And for the folks who got started early, the very first cat is now worth like a hundred thousand bucks or something. What? In Ethereum. What? Like, the, like the very first one that was made is not worth a hundred thousand bucks. Right. So it's like if Pokemon did this angle with unique items, oh, then you're actually gonna have Pokemon pieces that would be worth a hundred thousand bucks. Oh That's my right. god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so this art piece, this art piece is serious. Yes. But it's electronic. But it's, it's unique, it's one of a kind. Well how do you trade it? It's traded on then um uh, an electronic uh, image? Yeah, it's good on the people Think like a millennial. Think think like a millennial. So the thing about this technology is that, like take Bitcoin for example, since 2009, the blockchain itself has been building, right? There's been so much electricity put into it, the ledger itself makes the, the coin what it is, right? So the uniqueness of Bitcoin and the ledger says, this is proof of the fact that we believe in this so much that we're willing to spend all of this time, all of this effort, all of this electricity to create something such that nobody can break it. That gives us the ability to transact digitally in a way where no one else can say anything about it. Right? So, since 2000. 2010, everyone who's been involved with it, ever made a transaction with it, has made a choice, voted to say, I believe in this in such a way where I'm going to spend my time, money, and energy in it, even though I have no idea it's going to be successful. Like, when it was a, a penny or two back then, and now it's several thousand dollars, right? Their belief their confidence in what is possible with this technology was the motivator to get to this point to now where it's becoming commercially available. Right? So that the ledger itself makes it available for the rest of us. They had to go through there was a the person who spent ten thousand bitcoins on a pizza a pizza early on. Yeah. Right? Ten thousand bitcoins then was then now <laughs> right? That pizza was so good after all. But the value, the value of that transaction, right? It started this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. And now it's here where it's at, where we can now even have this conversation. Right. And I'm sure if he spent ten thousand bitcoin on a pizza, he had gazillions. Yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So wow. when thinking about other currencies and what's capable with it. The uniqueness that the currency brings, the problem it solves, or the feature it adds, is what makes it what it is. Right. So it's 
Crypto Kitties, like, I don't know much about Crypto Kitties. This is kind of the first time I've heard about it, but the idea to me sounds intriguing, so I'm going to go figure it out. Right, 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 right. 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 It's like being built on the Ethereum. Kareem loves playing it. She played it at dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. How can you go wrong with cats on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> well, like the videos on YouTube about cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody loves cats. Yeah. So. Well, I, saw this, I saw this TED Talk, and the guy says, uh, oh, we thought we were going to use the internet to do all these amazing things. And at the end of the day, what do we most use the internet for? To train pictures of cats. Right. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, that's what most people are doing right now on the internet. So, wow. wow. That freaking game is, has cartoon drawings of cats selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Can we get back to the futures right fast? You know what I'm <laughs> the cats are fine, but what about what about the futures? Like um, since we've been looking at it, do you? I mean, like you see, it's even out. So is the strategy working? That people were fearing that um, how do um, if they're going to be traded now? The government can regulate it, so people can bet on the short, and we're going to try to tank. Bitcoin. Are people successful trying to tank Bitcoin from what you're seeing by what the market is doing right now? Well, the future has nothing to do with what's currently happening in Bitcoin. A future is about the future of the currency. Oh, they're betting on... They're yeah. betting on the future value, the future price of Bitcoin, not on what's happening right now. Now, I don't want to speak out of turn and say that what's happening, what's happening, what's happening in the futures market should reflect what's happening now, but it's not necessarily always a direct correlation. Okay. Um, so the, the, the interesting thing about futures is that with futures, the, the unique situation that this is, is now large investors, investors enterprise right. level investors, have the ability to play in the game in such a way where they can, billions of dollars. they can move large amounts of Bitcoin. Right. right? So that, differ, that differentiation, that variable in this is what's different. So at the, at the start of 6 p.m. tonight, it started dropping. And it hit, hit a point and then it pumped right back up, right? Which is saying, it's a support resistance conversation. There's, there's right. let, me, let me dump, grab my cash, and hit a level to say, hey, wait, wait, under this, we're not going under this price point. That's the support level. It pumped it way back up about, I think it was $2,500 in five minutes. Then it came back down, and now it's finding that 154 price point, which is average back out. So, Nari, you pulled your phone out and said, let me move something. What'd you do that for? Why'd you move, why'd you move from altcoin to Bitcoin? And he says they're not purchasing power. What, what the hell? Well, and you black. What you doing? What a black person doing uh, understanding some damn Bitcoin? Oh what are you doing? What are you doing? When you are an innovator, you don't have a color. Oh, okay. You have brain power. You have bandwidth. <laughs> um, well, look, if, if the social sentiment is, is clearly pushing Bitcoin price in one direction, I don't think the social sentiment is pushing it in a negative direction. So it's a safe bet to assume that Bitcoin is going to be a positive, if not within X number of hours, within at least X number of days. Right? Um, that's just up going off the data that's already present. And aren't you a Bitcoin purist? Yes, I'm a Bitcoin purist. Um, meaning that before I make any commentary on uh, this <laughs> impressive external force that's now participating in the Bitcoin ecosystem, I'm going to sit back and watch for a second. But you're not nervous as a purist? No, because the data shows that social sentiment is very positive. And you're not worried about it crashing tonight? No, because... Or tomorrow? Because there are a lot of very, very well-off people that um, have been waiting for this moment for quite some time. And it's going to be almost like their moment of just popping off in the air, you know? But, <laughs> you let us in. Oh, what's but, up? But no crashing. No crashing. That, that, uh, I, I don't like to make those kind of... I, I don't talk price often. Right? Okay, but don't talk price. Don't talk about crashing. But, 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 Trends, trends. Like, like, the word crash really doesn't apply in this environment, right? And so why do people always want to use the word crash all the damn time? Yeah, because they're trying to apply um, 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 old concepts into a, an environment that is a lot faster, right? Um, is it a crash when it, if it just went down 2,000 and came back 2,500? <laughs> <laughs> like literally within minutes, right? right? 
Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's always doing something. It's always going to do something, right? Um, you have global greed in play. Do you think people? <laughs> like, do you think? Do you think people? Do you think people confuse volatility with crashing? Um, I think they confuse um, sentiment, global sentiment, right? It's like everyone in the world owes an Apple stock. Imagine what what, what, what that would be for. Uh, for the volatility, quote unquote, of that company's uh, performance. Would it drive it down? No, if everybody in the world is trading in Apple stocks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right? It'd be, so, it'd be just the strongest dollar bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have one currency globally that everyone can participate in. So if Bitcoin drops to 1400 it, it, you know, it's not a bunch of New Yorkers that are calling the shots now. You know, someone in Zimbabwe is like, bye. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I know when I think about the conversation we were having earlier about making the whole the whole conversation more accessible for people who are just getting involved. A move like this gives the entire cryptocurrency game credibility at an entirely different level. Mm. You don't have institutional money participating in something that is they bad the or is going anywhere. This is clearly impacting the way we do money on this planet for good. Because they researched before they hit the button. They what? They researched before oh they hit God. the button. They researching in their sleep. What? <laughs> you talking about what you talking about people in futures? 500 contracts, 1,000 contracts, I mean huge amounts of money, and, and, and based on just the slightest movement in the Bitcoin price, the Bitcoin price, and Bitcoin is going up like this, down like this. And, what, and you used to work where? The Chicago what? The Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Oh, so that's how you know. That's private data that you are now making public. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> be, be, you knew somebody who was on the market. It wasn't you. You knew somebody. Your, na your neighbor. Remember? It was your neighbor. It, neighbor. Yeah, your neighbor. Say yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, right. there you go. You used to talk to her all the time. All the time. Right. So, it, so it, it, it was almost like you were there. It, it was. There yeah. you go. There it, you go. It was a virtual experience. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. So it's going up and down. But, oh, it, but, but here's the thing. It can, move, it can move just a few points. And then there's the whole arbitrage thing. It's selling over here for one price. It's being bought over here for another price. And then there's this margin there for profit that you can snatch. And when you're snatching it at 500, 1,000, 10,000 contracts, a few cents can add up to a bunch of money. That's what Trading Places was about. In, in a manner of speaking, yes. Because they were trading on the futures of orange juice. Yes. So and it's now bad. people are trading on the future of... Of Bitcoin, so they're essentially saying that Bitcoin is just as valid in our e economy as orange juice. Wow. That's serious. Do you think that this will open the door for other alternative, alternative uh, cryptocurrency to also be traded in futures? Sure, sure. There may actually become a an exchange. There needs to be an a, exchange. A futures exchange. A futures exchange for cryptocurrency. Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Pierce, how you feel about that? I'm very excited for the world of automation for that. Yeah. <laughs> very excited. <laughs> the bots will go crazy. The bots are going to handle all that. <laughs> Hurry up! Make it happen! Hurry and, up! And, and Pablo, we going to work, man. You know what? Now that I think about it, there may be sort of something that we call an exchange, but there may not necessarily even need to be a physical exchange for, yeah. Right. They're called smart. Smart addresses. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, um, Smart addresses on the old platform pretty much makes it a decentralized approach. That's where the Federal Reserve comes from? Pretty much. <laughs> they can get that white paper, can't they? That new white paper's on, on Google Docs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Take, take Ripple, for example, and the amount of enterprise-level research and development and money that has went into that single currency. Mm. Right? So if we're talking about enterprise-level support of this technology, even though it may not be... The Bitcoin pure in terms of what it does, it's still a large investment in the technology in general and what's possible with it. So if you have that much money doing research in this technology, 
that's saying, yes, this is the way that we are saying the future is going to be based on the amount of money that we're putting into what we are developing in this technology. So it's, it's only a matter of time before the ecosystem of cryptocurrency becomes more viable overall. And as, as cryptocurrency increases, the purity and the, the stability of Bitcoin specifically becomes more legitimate itself. Because it's been it's been through however many different phases of proving itself, right? And this this what we're in right now with futures and options is saying now is it able to store value and move in such a way where large amounts of money can work around this particular currency. And if it proves to be stable, then then again. The technology is saying, what are we waiting for? And then at, at that point, it's a matter of asking ourselves the question, what are we waiting for? Well, I'm just waiting to, um, for this video to end so I can go over here and cop me something because I'm getting ready to. I'm, 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 I'm well, getting ready. Let me ready. ask you this before you end the video. Does, do you, you showed a graph last night. Okay. Uh, Innovators. Innovators, early innovators, early adapters, yeah, early adapters. I'm sorry, er, early majority, right? Late majority, right? And, and then, then the, the laggers. <laughs> oh, right? oh, don't call so, me, don't call me a lagger. Don't call him a lagger. Don't call right? me no lagger. So, would you, would you say that tonight's introduction of Bitcoin as a futures contract turns this? Or is it initiates us out of the early adapter phase and into what's the one that comes after that? Um, no, 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 no. It's 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 it's, 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 uh, it's it's early ad okay so it's it's, it's, in it's it's innovator then it's early adapter and then it's early majority so do you think that this future contract coming online takes us is this the beginning of the early majority absolutely absolutely because um, until you hear it uh, Unfortunately, this is why he gets the advantage of being around the fucking black folks. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> this is how we are. Cheating. Black folks don't believe nothing to the white man say it. Oh my God. Black folks don't believe nothing to the white man say it. So when the futures come in, he has spoken. Let me just say. and it don't crash, listen, out, listen, it don't listen. matter. First of all, it's not going anywhere. Because the white man Even if he, he's crashes, in it now. all that means is that it's creating an enormous buying opportunity. There's no such thing as a crash, it's on the exchange. So that alone will support its existence in perpetuity. Don't be no lagging. You already late right now. If you let the futures come, you are, you are now. If you had some Bitcoin before this video, if a person had Bitcoin before this video, they are early adapter or innovator. That means if you had five dollars worth of it, I'm gonna say it again. If you had, if you had a dollar, if you had any cryptocurrency at any amount, that means if you had one OWO coin, you were an early adapter or an innovator. If you waited to after the futures came out announcement today, you are now the beginning of the early majority. If, if, it's still a prime opportunity. It's, no, 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 it's an opportunity now. It ain't prime no more. It's not prime anymore. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great opportunity, but it's not prime. Those of us who have some coins, this table I'm sitting with, Oh, you can, still, you can still get in and make a bunch of money. Sell. No, 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 no. Don't okay. sell right now. Nobody in here is reaching for their phone to sell anything. Any, any, okay. Nobody. Y'all heard everybody talking. Nobody sold get anything. In it. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yes, and the Nari. We're gonna get a Nari to repeat one more time when he said, "Get what? Get you some what? Get you some Bitcoin <laughs> for sure." Look, 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 look. If, if I'm still saying it like seriously, right by now. No, quit thinking that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is your folks. Right. Uh, they've seen your Facebook feed already. Right? They should have some Bitcoin. They should definitely have some Bitcoin by now. The message, if the message hasn't gotten through. In one month? Yeah. That's enough? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, seriously? <laughs> How much have you lost in that one month? Probably. Who, me? No, no, anyone that didn't participate. 
How much does that hesitation cost you? Like five bucks? Just five bucks? Nah. Oh, you took with well, a literal, not the, but the opportunity cost cost them a couple of thousand. Yeah, it's very true. My money's tripling. Right. So my education is quadrupling. Yeah. Um. At, at this point, I'm, um, I'm, I'm hoping I'm under the assumption that there, there's no one left behind. <laughs> All right, because the boat's moving. <laughs> We out in the water now? Yeah, I think so, man. Okay, okay. Uh, so, get, Anari says get y'all some Bitcoins. Right. Now we're moving on to the actual education piece on how you, um, uh, what other opportunities are there. Even if you miss the Bitcoin boat, you know, that five bucks can go into something else. That five bucks can go into hemp coin. Hemp coin is at 14 cents. You know, hold hemp coin for a year. It's going to be a dollar within a year. It's at 14 right now? It's at 14 cents right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Damn, Skippy, you're looking at a potential hemp toying millionaire player. Yes, I own over almost 2,000 coins, and you try to jack me if you want for my hemp. You try to run up on me if you want for my ledger. Tell some of y'all now you better get a job at McDonald's or something before you start going out trying to jack Don't folks. Don't do it. Don't go to McDonald's. Well, you go to McDonald's, but now you got some money to invest in cryptocurrency. Don't go to McDonald's. You're making any money. Why flip a burger when you could be mining? Flip Anari, we having a uh, women in mining conversation later tonight? You got some good coaching, girl. You got some good coaching. She got some good coaching over here. You hear what she's saying? The only non renewable asset, you know what I'm saying? Right. See, senorita. Y'all been on some mining, right? That's what she's over here to invest. She's been asking mining questions all night. All night. Right. And yeah. I'm not done. No. So go to I YouTube. Know. Wait a minute. What time is it? I still got time to go home and get it how you would say own and pop. Get it own and pop. Get it how you live, son. Y'all sitting around. Yeah. Listen, don't be a laggard, man. My really, my big message is don't be a laggard. Don't be so last where you just missed you. You know how much you've already missed? Do you know you already missed? Google. Wait a minute, Kanye. There's a woman out there. She has a saying. You never left her. She said a year from now, you will wish you had started to get You need to cut the tape on that right now. A year from now, you, a year from now, you will have you wish you had started to I know because a year, because last year, from this shoot, nine months ago, <laughs> ten months ago, I was, I was about ten months ago, a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, based on that thing you posted, on where people would be if they had invested in five coins, ten months ago. On oh, January 1st, right. January 1st, y'all so would put in, if they'd have bought five, 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 five coins, a thousand dollars a piece. They'd have bought Monero, 4,000, Bitcoin, 4,000, Ethereum, Ethereum Light. and Litecoin, and, Dash. And, Dash. And, Dash. And, and Dash, and just put 1,000 on each one of them, and walk up and, and um, dug the hole in the ground, as you say. Dig the, can you share that philosophy? Is that private or public? Uh, that's, that's digging that's the hole in the ground. Yeah, tell them about the digging the hole in the ground. Everything. Tell me about the, the, the side. Right, so, um, one of the initial frustrations I got from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, look, look, I, I love my good thing. No, 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 no. He said, one of my initial frustrations. Like, he could say, I'm so tired of you niggas. Y'all getting on my damn nerves. Like, nah. I could have said that, huh? He said, he said nah, my initial frustration. Hey, um, 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 what was that Ken Peel's uh, sketch? Obama's interpreter? Oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. We should definitely do we one of those. Do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, look. So you got a bunch of newbies coming to Bitcoin, and then all of a sudden they're jumping up to the old dark world, thinking that the bots are going to be the thing that makes them millions. Right? Mm. That frustrated me a little bit, but because you don't even know how to trade yourself, you haven't even taken the time to learn how to trade on Bitrex and actually use it. You just want the one-click solution of bots making money. Uh, um, it doesn't work like that, right? And I, I, I can sell you that if you want, but I'm not that entrepreneur. That's not my thing, right? Um, so I wanted to like go back and reiterate the advice. You're just getting onto Bitcoin. Get in your head 
How much in Bitcoin do you want to set aside? How much is good for you right now? A percentage. A percentage. 10%, 5%, 20%. You bury that in the backyard. Forget about it for a year, two years. You're not even going to touch that. After you've set that, um, set that aside, now you can start playing around. You can start trading. You can start looking at other options. Right? But as somebody who's lost a lot in Bitcoin, <laughs> a lot, I strongly advise put some to the side. Well, at least two years, you're not going to touch it. <laughs> right, write the key down? Well, of course you're going to write the key down. No, no, no. At least two years. So, so tell them about the ledger and the key. This is super elementary. We're talking to a 12-year-old about a key and a ledger and why it's important to keep your key somewhere that it won't catch on fire. That's right. I mean, I, the, the concept of keys is, is nothing new. It's like passwords for your email and everything else, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the only difference is uh, you can remember your password. Now, chances are you're not going to be able to remember your private key. There's some people who actually make that effort to remember their private key. I mean, your passport free can remember your passport, your, your private key. <laughs> mm. Touchdown anyway with a million dollars. Right. Right. Um, but if you're not able to remember your private key, then write it down on, um, you know, unburnable paper, laminate it, make it safe. So wherever it is that you do decide to hide it, rats can't get to it, bugs can't get to it. Uh, you maybe want to just split it in two. You keep one half of the private key with yourself. You keep the other half with the grandma or whatever the case. Right. Tell the Dr. Savy story. Well, your uh, opinion. Give me your opinion about the Sebi and, the, and, 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 and a key and a ledger. But, uh, uh, so that was also one of my many frustrations. <laughs> right, uh, when I heard about the Sebi story, uh, but there are things that are so easily solvable. Tell the story for some people who don't know. He well, came into his country, his own country. Yeah, I'm carrying um, cash, on account of cash, right? Laws have to be followed, it is what it is. Right, but in the world of Bitcoin, if you can travel as you are, as long as you have your private keys, you're good. No one is going to search you to uh, stop you. That incident with Dr. Shaver would not have happened in Bitcoin. Because, because of his cash, yeah. would have been in Bitcoin exactly. on a ledger. On ledger. And he just pull up, and, and you're sure somewhere in Honduras he could have got some money off of that ledger? I'm pretty sure somewhere in South America he could have gotten, 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 gotten his Bitcoins back to cash. Right. <laughs> Um, and, you know, an incident like that happened is simply because our community is not tech interested, it's tech focused. Okay. You know? Uh, that's why I keep saying, if you treat your blockchain entrepreneurs the way you treated your tech entrepreneurs, I'm saying this to the global black population, right? You treated your tech entrepreneurs like shit, right? Most black people can't point to one app on their phone by a black developer. Right? That is millions of dollars that you could easily shift to various neighborhoods by the free games you play. By just paying attention to the apps you download. Get it off your chest, brother. Get it off your chest. You know? Come on. So now, if you treat your blockchain developers that exact same way, then you're not going to see um, uh, you know, the full utility of the possibilities of this technology um, that we should. So, they, so you're playing around with this whole... Uh, financial literacy and Black Wall Street. If you ain't um, including the including the black techie and the black uh, blockchain entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I, I said it before. None of them talk tech, man. Right. Um, and if you want to even look at it now on a global scale, Venezuela should not have been the first country to, um, to say that we're going to have uh, our own corner on, um, on the blockchain and back it by oil. And back it by oil. Nigeria could have said that. Well, you know, they could have. There are tons of other countries that have way worse financial or just as bad from a financial situation as Venezuela that could easily make that decision. Right. And this is even without any political deciders, your scientists, your, your nerds. Somebody in Liberia has yet to create a cryptocurrency? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Yo. South Africa. South Africa. You want to get out from up on the apartheid yeah, 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 yeah. make a coin. It's that easy. Right? So stop yelling... We want free, and you ain't doing free work. Uh, it, it, it's it's not that complicated now. Nowhere close. The man has uh the man has spoken, and uh, stop hollering about you want free, and you ain't you doing that. Free? Yeah, you don't want free. Stop, and you know what I'm saying. Shouts out to Boyce Watkins. You need to quit playing games out here. You understand? Know need to call this man. Get this man on the air so he can really you know get. You ain't got no purists like this from Africa. Talking about you down with black people. You're not, okay? So cut it out. So I, I need I need about I need about uh, 200 of y'all to take this and share it to his inbox, okay? I need about 200 of y'all to share it. Yes.
on the mainstream tip, then essentially he's not willing to dole out information about something that he doesn't know about or understand. He been having he, he had bitcoins in June. He, he, he has had bitcoins. Yeah, last year he he started investing in bitcoins last year and and and, and uh, can we agree that he he has a black media channel and he and he just started discussing it three weeks ago. So yeah, I, he so I, say he was beta testing. <laughs> <laughs> For eleven months he was beta, beta, beta testing. Beta testing. He didn't want to so put he it was, out there. People say boys lost me money. So Boyce was getting it. So Boyce was getting it at. So Boyce was getting it at two thousand, twenty five hundred, three thousand, thirty five hundred, four thousand. Because he was, because he buys them every month. And he said that's what his schedule is. So, so, so he has in the blockchain. Hold it, hold it. I got to ask my techies over here. Can we find all of his trans? Aren't all of his transactions, Boyce Walker's transactions, in the blockchain somewhere? I mean, if he wants to share it, sure. If he was not but they're, but they're in there. They're in there. So you he been copping but not talking. No 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 as the way as his rhetoric is I want us to be financially free. Where? I guess here between you and boys Oh, oh yeah. Nah. Oh, man, listen, man. Let me talk to boys, man. We out of here. Yeah. Okay, so we getting ready to be out, fam. Appreciate y'all. What up, Edgar? Edgar, the IOTA. Everybody tell me about the IOTA, man. It's down to like 328 earlier today. Um, you got some IOTA? You got everything. I need to get some IOTA, okay? That's what I got to get myself into. Uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in tonight. We're going to go back to the lab. Get some work done, a little bit of astrology, some mining conversation, more cryptocurrency. We might tune back in later, maybe not, maybe tomorrow. We'll so holler at y'all. Red, what up, baby? You come around in time for prayer. And number four, get you like in time. Tia Tessera, I'm Charles Sagan, 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 I